This man now behind bars. Police say in front of his own toddler, he shot and killed his ex-wife's new boyfriend. New at 11, our crime and safety analyst breaks down what you should do if caught in a similar situation. That deadly shooting happened in broad daylight just over a week ago in a West Side neighborhood. Today, Jacksonville police announcing the arrest of 34-year-old Anderson Nieves. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spoke with our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, about how to deal with the violent spouse. She joins us now with J from JSO on how they can assist in these difficult situations. Fran? That's right, Tarek and Joy. Now, we're not sure how long this couple had been together, but we do know that they shared four children. Tonight, I did speak with our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, and he told me that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office actually has an agency in place if you ever find yourself in a domestic violence situation. According to officials, this crime stemmed from jealousy after an ex-husband couldn't get over the fact that his ex-wife had moved on. I'm here to announce an arrest in the murder investigation of Juan Carlos Lopez, a 33-year-old Hispanic male. Officials say the shooting took place right here at the intersection of Beaver Street and Cahoon Road on February 27th, when the suspect, 34-year-old Anderson Nieves, pulled up to a car being driven by his ex-wife. Inside was their two-and-a-half-year-old son and her new boyfriend, 33-year-old Juan Carlos Lopez. None of them were expecting what happened next. When they arrived, they found 33-year-old uh, Juan Carlos Lopez in the front passenger seat of the vehicle, suffering from a single gunshot wound to the chest. According to police, Nieves fired multiple times into the car, killing the woman's boyfriend and taking off from the scene. He would later be found on the run in Pinellas County. We spoke to our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, about the case. He says when dealing with someone of a violent nature, it's crucial to document every encounter. You want to document everything. If he makes contact with you, if he's harassing you, following on the job, you need to document this. And if possible, file for a domestic violence injunction if there's violence involved. Taking a look at his criminal history, Nieves was charged with burglary, grand theft, and credit card fraud from 2009 to 2012. We didn't see any domestic assault charges, but Smith says documenting any changes in behavior or violent outbursts of an ex could help you and authorities in the long run. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has what they call an invest team, which is a group of detectives, state attorneys, people from Hubbard House, organizations all over Jacksonville that is formed to help women get out of these very violent situations. And according to authorities, Nieves made his way back to the Duval County Jail right here earlier tonight. We are told that he is being charged with one count of murder. I'm live at JSO headquarters, Francesca Emmerker, Channel 4, the local station.